lovely. We're on it to seal the deal. Oh, we're married. Oh! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review or player review breakdown. Recommended players. Now, lads, I can't recommend a player highly enough when I say that he is a must buy and this guy Corona is just insane. Now, you guys might remember, right? He's one of my favorite players, but you will remember from the clips on the screen there. I played with Corona in the early days of Dream Team Chronicles. I'm talking the first couple of weeks and I played with him for about six months in my squad. Um, he was on the right hand side and Munain was on the left hand side uh, before all the epics and that started to come. He's just such a brilliant dribbler. Like he's just built into the game. Him and Dembele I think are the best dribblers in the game. Obviously you've got Neymar as well there with the double touch. But I'm talking just little flicks and tricks, touches and goes. His player ID seems to be crazy, right? Now we do have two builds of him today. The first build that we're going to look at really ramps up that 24 levels and gets the most out of it. We're going to use him as a defensive option, right? So if you're using a 352 or you're using somebody that you want to be able to as your kind of fulcrum, that everything goes through him on the flanks, that you're able to get back defensively when you don't have the ball and that you're able to swing the ball in or else dribble the ball or pass the ball or shoot the ball or anything, this guy can do it all, right? He's down as a prolific winger. He's got double touch. He's got soul control. He's got one touch pass. He's got true passing. He's also got low lofted pass with cut behind and turn and, and Marseille turn. And then his play style here is early crosser with speeding bullet, which means you're going to pick up those uh, positions when he's not, you know, got the ball. And when you do have the ball, you've got pinpoint crossing to be able to swing it in, right? So the first build that we're going to look at is going to be a strictly defensive build. We're going to try and max out his defensive capabilities, but still be able to get, you know, it crosses into the box as best as we possibly can. That's kind of what we're going to go for, right? So the first build that we have, as I said, is a defensive build. And we are going to want to either throw a blocker, sliding tackle or interception on him or heading if you want to depend de depending if you defend if you're playing against a guy that has a you know a 4-3-3 a lot of people are using that now again you can actually throw heading on him and he'll be able to not only get on to defensive uh, headers but also be able to really be good up front as well pretty much any skill that you throw on him super sub will be insane as well if you want to throw that on him but for this defensive build i think that's a very good recommendation for him there and look at the stats we've got 11 into defending six into passing and dexterity and lower body which gives us 80 speed 88 balance 85 acceleration and 80 dribbling with 80 low pass 77 lofted and then the defensive stats are all in the 70s you might not think that this guy's stats are that good but trust me if you use him as a wing back He's insane. He's so, so, so solid, solid on the ball. And when he gets the ball, it's very hard to get it off him with that 88 balance. Obviously, he doesn't have finishing with this build or anything like that. But the card doesn't really need that if you want to kind of play him in the way that he should be played, right? As a prolific winger. Next up, we do have a 90 rated right midfielder version of him. This is just an all out attacking option, right? So we've maxed out the passing to really kind of cater for that pinpoint passing, true passing, low lofted and one touch pass. We don't need to go that high with it, but we do want the lofted pass to be at least in the 80 zone. So if you want to go that route, you can. He does have unwavering form as well. So you could actually gamble and say, right, I'm actually happy enough to go 78 with the lofted pass that when I actually get him on a form arrow, um, you know, he'll be able to actually get the ball in very, very decently. You could potentially, because his form arrow was never like going to be super high with the live update, you could go with 82, 79, which was eight into passing. I think that's a nice little cutoff point. And then obviously you can, you know, tweak up the dribbler, you can tweak up the balance or whatever else you want to go with it. But it's a very, very solid card. I would potentially probably go with a few more into dribbling because once you have the balance, the acceleration and the dribbling at 86, you're going to have a very dominant card there that can just rip people now as you saw there i had a couple of clips at the start and lads i genuinely think that corona as a four star uh, contract it's a no-brainer it just genuinely is a no-brainer i mean if he was a five star i'd probably still sign him out of pure loyalty but i wouldn't recommend him as much but as a four star, he's just 100% a no brainer. Now, I've already bought him on my other account and my other profile with my Road to Glory. And this guy, in, even on my main profile, I'm going to be buying him and using a four star contract. He's just that good. So, yeah, definitely recommend him. Give him a try. He's a little bit different. He doesn't have that flashy pace that you might consider with the likes of Sane or Dembele or any of those like really top class wingers. But he does have everything else going for him. And he just handles so well, man. He's so just glides around the pitch so that is it for me i'll be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the series enjoying the channel and i'll talk to you in a bit have a good one